What's up everybody? That's MB. And that's MB. We are the YouTube back with another Hot Toys unboxing. Finally. What do we have today? Totally forgot it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Took a fucking year to get released, got put back. Um, there was a couple of versions of this, wasn't there? I know at least two, yeah. which was the... Well, I don't know what fucking mark the last one was. It was the final one, wasn't it? The big bastard. Yeah. Which actually didn't review very well. Um, but this wasn't it. Well, I didn't like that final Ultron link. No. Well, I know you didn't like the film full stop, but I didn't like that final Ultron anyway. I'd, I'd much prefer him keep this one all the way through. Yeah, definitely. Would because at the end of the day, he was just a fucking computer program anyway, wasn't he? Yeah. So this was ordered to go with the Marvel stuff, the Avengers stuff, the bad guys. Fucking mm, well over a year ago, and it got put back. And then it finally come out, and as always, through Sideshow, it can come out in Hong Kong three months ago, and then you're waiting another three months until Sideshow get it, and then by the time it ships, you're looking at fucking four months. So yeah. we are coming to the sort of back end of the run with Sideshow. Unfortunately, it's just not going to be an avenue we explore anymore, unless it's to use like spooktacular stuff. And if you're on the Instagram, yeah. we are going to try and post as much of the spook spooktacular codes as we possibly can. So the first one's on there now, and you cashed that in yesterday. It yeah. was still given access yeah, to it, was wasn't it? So yesterday. have a look if you if you're interested in using Sideshow. We don't want to just put you off. We're speaking solely as EU shipment. Yeah. Uh, price has gone through the roof. To be honest with you, and whether that's to do with Brexit over here or whatever, we don't know. But it seems like every sort of excuse that can be used to make other people money is getting pulled out of the hat. Yeah, basically whatever you're paying for you, whatever you're paying at the moment for your figure, whack about fifty quid on for yeah. postage. Yeah. And that's what you're looking at there unfortunately. Was, there was a uh, the a guy knocking out that I think it was Nightmare Batman on the groups, did you see it when he put it up and he put the figure on and he said uh two two hundred he was knocking it out at two hundred and ninety quid. Now I know these Batman mm. figures are fucking flying about for crazy money and yeah. some guy was happy to pay five hundred and ten for the normal one the other day, which is fucking stupid by the way. Yeah. And he put it up, he'd said, Look, I'm it's 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 gone. It went straight away and it was two he put it up at two hundred and ninety quid and uh he got it through Sideshow, which I got my Nightmare Batman through Sideshow, but I had reward points from previous buys, so it knocked the price clean down. And then he he put on the 290 and he wasn't making anything at all on the sale of the Nightmare Batman because he actually put in what it cost him to get it in to the country. Yeah. And so the figure was retailing, I don't know, about 210, which is about right. Mm. And then added his 50 quid on import duty and he's 20 quid on fucking shipping charges by side show you're looking at 70 quid extra you know what i mean and he, he wasn't making any sort of money off it so that's where it is right now with shipping charges unfortunately yeah because they are deemed as collectible figures so you're fucked you know we 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 now totally swayed towards using other other people which is sad because uh, Sideshow were quite good, but they've dipped, I think they've dipped off on all fronts as far as one six scale figures up. Yeah. You were going to get one the other day, weren't you? Come up on the Facebook thing, was it Luke Skywalker? Oh, yeah, the, the, they keep advertising old figures through through links and things. So, like, Facebook the other day, they, they had linked up the, the best bin version of Luke Skywalker, which is a fucking cracking figure. Which one's that? The one with the hand off? It's one with the hand off, yeah. And I mean, for it ch changing hands now, you're looking at five, six hundred quid plus because it's highly sought after. The head sculpt's absolutely nailed on and it just looks the base. So for me, when Facebook page pops up for Sideshow and you see that figure and it's saying, oh, you know, new new figures in stock and, and something and link it now, I'm thinking, fucking hell, is that there? Because if it is, I'll buy it now straight away. Like two hundred fifty quid, I'll get it whether it's on side show or show or not, because you can't find it anywhere else. So I'll click to it. No, it's Something sold out. Link. So why take me straight to that page and why, why link it in the first place? Stupid. Man. It's just it's madness. And you'll see now if you if you go on the site, and look at uh, the things for net now shipping, most of them are old figures. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Put the new ones up there. We've reviewed fucking. A year ago, a year and a half yeah, ago. Like Mandarin. Black Widow and Mandarin and stuff like that. But anyhow, yeah. 
this finally arrived. It's here now, we're going to take a look at it. And to be fair, we're probably in a better state of mind for doing it because there's no real, unlike the next one we're doing, the Nightmare Batman, which we're eager to see, mm -hmm. we've kind of fucking lost interest in stuff like this because it's took that long to fucking get here. <laughs> yeah. So we're open for a bit of a surprise, to be fair, because we haven't even seen, I've not even looked at anything to do with it, really. I don't think it's been a yeah. um, highly bought figure because there's not much that been seen of it. It's It's just... As all the other Avengers boxes are, that the artwork's really, it's, it's kind of like a 3D. But the artwork's all the same, it has the same sort of theme to it. Yeah. So it's just the slide out. And to the point where it hasn't even been out the shipper until just before the video, we set the video, so we've not even looked at it. And to be, oh, there's like a little sentry drawn there. Yeah. Cool. So, we, should we get it out and have yeah. a look at it, see what it's all about? You didn't, did you like this mark of it? Or? Yeah, I thought it was brilliant. Why? It just, it it just, just looked, looked eerie, didn't it? It looked eerie and creepy and sort of puppety yeah. in a way, which added to the the character, in my opinion, but yeah. then fucking ruined it. Yeah, it's just the normal setup of the boxes. Stuck on the front. What is it like? It's just a, it's like the half it's body that you get like with the Iron Man thing, yeah. which isn't a bad touch. We'll class it as an accessory. Yeah. Oh, Fucking hell. Some detail on that. That like. looks fragile as fuck. Doesn't it? So yeah, there's literally that bit there. So does that light up? There's some batteries I don't there. Know. there. And I've took a bit of a fucking battery. Got a bit of a thing on the back of it. So there's like a certain amount of batteries here. I think so. that's going to be for your figure though. You mean figure that looks good though? It's good that, isn't it? Yeah, some nice detail in it. Fucking hell, tweezers. I haven't seen tweezers for ages. Mm. Do you want the instructions? Oh yeah, see where the batteries go. Yeah. It's all really well wrapped up, but it's I'm scared of fucking knocking him. Knocking something because you don't yeah. know what if there's wires everywhere, like the detail on it's fucking unbelievable by the way. Yeah. He looks creepy as fuck. Yeah. I mean, even the hands, man, look at that. Oh, that's beauty, that. There's wires coming out of the fucking hands. So we've got light up eyes and a light, a light up micro arc reactor on his chest. Sound. So there's space for the batteries in his head. And there's a space for batteries, looks like it's either on his back or his front. Like, like where though? Back. It just seems so delicate. Yeah, you don't want to mess about with that, mate. Look at the paint job on it there, like. Yeah, it's It's hard. mental, innit? I'll try and get the, the covers off and then we can, I can get the camera on it properly because. Oh yeah, there you go, you've got some caution things in. Yeah, like don't touch it. Right, use included specially designed tweezers to reconnect piston rods if they have disconnected. Yeah, from where? <laughs> from there. So, they might not be as fragile as first thought. If they come out, you can just pop them back. It'd be like, what's that? Someone of yours, isn't it? Uh, Boba Fett. Yeah. Yeah, where these uh, little pipes could come out of his arm. You know, fucking tweezers, man. 
gone all out on this one. Tell you that there you go. One of his things is there. Bring him down. Ah, right. Okay, now that's some flimsy wire that I like. Isn't it? Yeah. Where the fuck does that go? There's like chipsets, mate. Not even like. <laughs> you don't know what's supposed to go where. I'm so fucking scared of ripping something off, you know what I mean? You can't yank them off like you can the other one, can you? No. Yeah, I don't think I might need a knife for this. Yes. Yeah, use your teeth. Yeah. What skill was? She was teeth. what I'm gonna fucking rip off or not. Yeah. I'd rather just get it. Why well, don't we cut off and come back when it's... Uh, yeah, we'll get it out of this plastic settled. and we'll come back on. Yeah. Because be there's all sorts of fucking shit hanging about here. It's mental. Absolutely fucking yeah. crazy. Caution part two. All cable wires and mechanical structure of the figure are undetachable. Don't try to take them off, otherwise the figure will be damaged. Do not excessively bend or twist the figure, otherwise it will be damaged. Do not expose the figure to high direct sunlight for an extended amount of time, otherwise the figure will be damaged. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smashing warning. Right, so we'll I'll get this the fucking wraps off and then we'll get a close look at it. And basically don't touch your figure because it will be damaged. <laughs> damaged. Yeah. Uh yeah, but I don't see why his chest would light up because there's nothing there. There's something somewhere for it light up. Mm. Anyway, we'll come back, yeah. we'll get it all off, we'll take all these wraps and that off. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's coming from somewhere. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back in two. Yep. Welcome back, after much fucking on. The batteries are in. Actually on the legs where I was a bit OTT with the fucking carefulness. There isn't too much of the wires to, to disturb. And when we looked at certain ways on the other one they are fully rubber so you haven't got that thing that it might snap off mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i think there's one that could possibly come out yeah but there's no wrong way or right way to set it up because he is a fucking mishmash of everything anyway so yeah if there's a fucking wire hanging out somewhere i don't think anybody's going to be able to tell it's just mental the amount of detail that Hot Toys go to with these fucking figures, man. Yeah, it's it's scary good. It's crazy. It's really, really good. There's like, I'll, I'll get the camera in, like quite close to it, so you can hopefully see. Let's get it on there. Yeah. So that's the extras. That that's what we would class maybe as the accessories, and yeah. that's the the sentry drone thing in it. And the detail in that's fucking yeah, fantastic the arms as well. And whatnot are, Articulated, you can move even though it's just joints, you can move them. Yeah, all the scratches and that on his helmet. Yeah, I'm getting close. all buffed up. Yeah, it is crazy. So, I'll pull that out the way. And this fucking everything toes articulated the lot, the wiring on it, that the back chains running up and down the leg that make the leg work. A uh, bit of a fuck on with the batteries, but it was yeah. actually easier than. I can't think what one, there was a tough one to do, and I can't think what it was. Probably Iron Man. It's just initially finding the part on his back that you take off, which... Yeah, you need to look at the instructions for it, but you can see these stray wires everywhere hanging yeah. off. And there's this little flap here that has to come off so you can kind of get into the head to, to set the batteries up. I'm going to flick the switch on, so... Comes off there. There's a chip set. That chip set there comes off the top of the head. That shows you where the batteries are. And there's the batteries in there. And then so you can just turn the fucker. Turn him on. That's class like. Yeah. And then that gives you like. It's like a fucking jack-o'-lantern, isn't it? Yeah, type of look. So that's 
that's how that's how the battery's going on him. Uh, stick that back on. That will do it after we've had a look around the back of it. Yeah. And the front, he has a the shield that lights up. But look at this. Look at the detail in these. It's crazy. It's fucking off it. Like I said, I think I think initially you look at it and it does look flimsy as fuck, but. But it's probably a bit more sturdy than Where, like what that you back think. plate there, there's like oil. It yeah. looks like oil dripping down it, and it also. I've just picked it up there on the piston. Yeah. There's like oil running out the piston. The paintwork is fucking mental it's good. Unreal. And everything, like all these fingers and that are separately articulated. Like I was saying, I think this is a bit too heavy for him to be holding, but it would be good if he could. Mind you, you might be able to take the head off, you can on the yeah, Ironman one, but I don't know. But yeah, the, the detail, probably uh, what else could they do really? They couldn't, could they? Because if they'd have made it robust, you could snap it. Yeah. And you can get a pause out of it, we've just kind of licked his arms about to get the pause that he's got there. Mm-hmm. He looks fucking class. Yeah. So that's... Really that's the Ultron Mark 1. Um, we'll score it, eh? Yeah. So, accessories wise, basically all you've got is this. Turn it around. So, I mean, it, it's good. It's kind of enough. Yeah. You're not going to get any more accessories with him anyway. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else that he would come with, do you? No. So there's not much more in the movie, so I'm quite surprised you actually get that. Um, yeah, so that's quite a nice accessory. I would score that a 4 out of 5 for accessories because it's now it, it's good, you know what I mean? But yeah, I agree. It's You wouldn't expect it. Yeah. And since you don't expect it, then you know, it, it's obviously a bonus. And the fact that it, you know, it's all separately articulated, obviously helps it because it could just be stuck there and yeah. not able to move but it's not and it's got the crazy detail exactly like the figure's got in it it's fucking mad so yeah it is it is a really good accessory actually um yeah it's do you know what the thing is with this it's a fucking hard one to call because i don't it's not quite a figure really you know like there's what we haven't got a head sculpt to look at really I know, you know but what I mean? in that sense, I mean, God, you could look at like, I don't know, like War Machine or, or something like that, and that's essentially not really much of a head sculpt, is it? But you I get mean, the yeah, you can, face you can on, pull yeah. the thing off, but I don't know. What, what would what would you do for it? I mean, yeah, does he? It's fucking nailed on. Does he look like he is? He does in the film, and is it nailed on? Yeah, so therefore, that's your head sculpt, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a mental thing, like, I don't know, it's not like, what would you expect it to be, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I don't know, it's like hard to work out, like, how to score it. It's absolutely fucking nailed I think on. The wires coming out of the back of it and everything, I'm a bit yeah naffed about that. I think it's a bit daft. I think, personally, you're looking at head sculpt of a robot from yeah. a film, and it looks nailed on, so... By previous scarring, you've got to at least give it. I don't know. You, you, Again, I think you, you probably have to, have to give it either top marks or you knock it down because of that. Yeah, because that's, that's part right. of the head and it's a bit of a fuck on. Yeah. So and it falls off quite easy. So because of that, yeah, I agree. A four, yeah. definitely. Four out of five on that. Um, the articulation, for what it is, is fucking unbelievable. To be honest with you. Yeah because you can move the arms about the rotate it tells you in the book where they rotate at the hand fucking it's on the ball joint like the other ones all the fingers are fucking separate you can have it how you want so the articulation i'm, I'm quite surprised that yeah. it's like that because if you'd have got it out and it was in the pose or it's in that was probably it i don't think you could fucking moan because at the end of the day it is just all pistons but all them pistons work yeah. Like all them pistons actually fucking go inside of each other to allow his body to shift. And I think that was what it was talking about in the book. If one of them pop out you can just simply pop it back in. Yeah. Um but it 
the de it's the fucking do you know detail wise right this is the the best one I've looked at it's it, it's fucking it's mental nuts. it's mental because that <sighs> it's scary how something like that they get so much detail into yeah because it is just little parts and everything but I mean you've got it everywhere you can see it there like the oil and everything I as know. well again and an all round his chest piece it's it's absolutely nuts no, really, really good figure. How how really long would it take to fucking make one of these? You know what I mean? It's not like you could roll them off a fucking production line, mm. is it really? Because everything it needs to be threaded in properly. And yeah. as far as the workmanship on a figure, it hands down knocks the fuck out of everything else we've ever opened. Yeah, it's not. Because it's crackers. The feet are even on like ball clips. That it's hard to get. I, to show you properly what I hopefully you can see what we're looking at because yeah. the more in depth you look at certain things I mean look at that the more in depth you get into it the more you spot there's a little I picked up on earlier like a little fucking stray chipset just look at that straight like circuit board just fucking hanging about the, the the wires and everything like that, three fucking wires all coiled together that runs towards the top of the head. Yeah. It's bonkers. It's fucking bonkers. But uh Yeah. Um articulation wise I'm gonna give it a five because it's uh it's it's good. Yeah, it is quite it's a lot easier to move than what you think it is. Yeah. Originally looking at it. So yeah, you can get your paws out of it that you want. Yeah. Whatever pause you you would want with it. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's got to be a five, hasn't it? Because you're not restricted in any way. Really. No, no. It moves more freely than what I thought. Despite it Despite the fact it it looks more fragile than it is. I think you're overplayed it because it looks like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It looks like fucking hell. You could. It actually looks like if you try and pause it, you'll get an electric shock off the fucker. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to Friday night. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know. Overall, I'm gonna score it a five out of five because it's fucking amazing. Yeah. And if you can see close up on it, if you think you probably got it, if you're gonna get it, you probably got it. Yeah. But it's the Ultron I definitely wanted to go with a collection. Yeah, it's definitely the better one. Because the other one looks the yeah, shit. I didn't want the shiny, fucking smart looking thing. It just looks rubbish. That looks like a fucking bad guy, you know yeah. what I mean? And they should have stuck with that. They definitely and everything's fucking mint man yeah if he'd have been in it all the way through it'd have been a different film that you know they should have just kept him as that you know what i mean mm -hmm. like that's where he comes all the time just through that fucker yeah so i don't know what's your, your overall and your, your thoughts on it i think it looks amazing it's it's fantastic figure the detail in it is absolutely unbelievable yeah. Like you said, it's probably detail wise, it's it's one of the best figures we've probably looked at. Oh, without a doubt. Because it's, it's fucking scary the amount of detail they've got into it. And I'm probably the same as you, 18 out of 20, yeah. which is fucking good for a figure like that. It is because really it's good. borderline, like, it, it's kind of like this one, you, you get your figures and you want to pause and stuff, but yeah. as far as he's concerned, you just want him stood like it that. Just looks it just looks mean as there, how yeah. he is. And it, this kind of could have half been just a statue. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You wouldn't expect it to be able to be <laughs> moving like that because you'd think, fucking hell, I don't want to disturb anything. But they have, they've made it look good, but also give you the ability to move it about as well, yeah. which is fucking unbelievable, really, when you look at what what is going on with it. Yeah, definitely. To the point you fucking think, well, I don't move his head or else it all moves like quite freely. It's mm -hmm. that. Fucking mad, isn't it? Yeah. Like no matter which way you move, he looks like fucking proper scary. Yeah, he's really good. So yeah, eighteen, eighteen, thirty-six out of forty, excellent score. Yeah. Uh, one that dripped off the radar wasn't really us to be honest with it. Um, it's been quite a surprise, and I, I can't wait to get it stood with the rest of the fucking henchmen. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and see how it goes once they're all in place because the in that line now there's only Black Panther I've got through TNS now. Um 
and Hulkbuster, but Hulkbuster's up in the air because if they're going to charge me a fucking fortune to go in the country, I'll be cancelling it. Yeah. So I'll just see because I'm, I've only got one payment left on that, so but that'd be a nice windfall to be honest with you if I did cancel it. Mm -hmm. And more to the point, where the fuck am I going to put it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a the room world's where, closing in. In a room where we've had to in. take out the Batman be able to fit us in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're we'll going to hold Buster in there as well, you're fucked. We'll get more shelves up, man. Fuck it. <laughs> get some more shelves, shelves up. Everywhere. Just put yeah. them everywhere. Fucking shelves. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, 36 out of 40. Stay tuned. Nightmare Batman coming up, we're going to have a look at because we were hoping yes. to have both variations of Batman, but. It's been slightly pushed back from yeah the from Cold Code. It's uh, now said it's going to be November, so yeah. There so it's not going to be long. There is a lot of delays on the shipping. To be fair, then. Yeah. So um, that's another one that's coming up. At the yeah, they have said put back though. Like, definitely secure in it. So yeah. yeah. At least it gives us a bit more to look forward to, and the in the run up to Christmas, I where I think it goes quite quiet. Um, we've got the loot crate, the uh, the Z box. Sorry, coming up. Yeah. Uh, the DC special, which falls in nicely with the shit we've been opening lately, because it's all been fucking DC. Yeah, the DC special will be a good one for Christmas, maybe. Is if yeah, if yeah. we definitely get that Batman in bef in November, then yeah, and Christmas uh, DC special. We're one subscriber away from the fucking loot troop giveaway. Yeah, and it's gonna be good. Get subscribed already. People, ninety nine fucking people want to watch us look at dolls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Chuck, there'll be other stuff going out this fucking window, yeah, so subscribe, somebody sure, yeah. somewhere might want to watch it, and then you get a hundred fucking subs, and we start giving away shit. Yeah. So thanks for everything across all the platforms that we're on: yeah, Instagram, definitely. Twitter. You've been having loads of interaction via Twitter lately, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, Instagram, as always, there's a lot of interest. Um, so yeah, keep it tuned on all of them. He'll reel off the spiel because I have no good with fucking addresses and yeah, dates. Definitely. So, do you want so to again, in? as always, you can follow us on Twitter at Loot Troop, Instagram, the Loot Troop. Loads of uh, pictures and everything going in there. YouTube.com slash Loot Troop, where you can watch these fine videos. Those handsome hooks put out over and over. Always, you know, thanks for the comments. As we've said, the interactions are absolutely fantastic. So for this video, that's MB. That's MB. We are the Loop Troop, and we'll see you very, very soon. <laughs>